But these two teams right here are fighting for contention. Of course, Iowa State is tied for first place in the Big 12. Iowa State had it, went three and out. Now Kansas with it for the first time, and they keep it on the ground with depth. Watch all of his tape. He has grown as a passer in a big way. Well, here he is to the air for the first time, and he gets it to the outside for Quentin Skinner. Breaks off down the sideline, and Skinner can turn one of those short completions into a big game. That's what the coaching staff told the second fastest player. Here's to the air, a slant, and that is caught. And that's Tanaka Scott. <laughs> yeah, the safety that time was Blake Thompson, who's Normally a backup, he's stepping in for Jeremiah Cooper, who is injured and unavailable. Devin Neal gets this offense that is top 20 in the country in points per game. 36 points per game for the Jayhawks, third best in the Big 12. They've got second down and 11. Bean rolls out, he throws toward the sideline, and he sails it to the focal point for this Iowa State defense. That faces third down and 11. Bean rolls out. You called him the fastest quarterback in the country, but he can't get to the end. By Cooper being out is a big deal today with his five interceptions on the year. On fourth down, they go for it. And B needing 10, rolls out. He's under pressure. He throws it downfield, and a jumping catch is made. And make decisions like that. And B, meanwhile, three of four, three completions, all of 20 or more, and it sets up first down and goal. And Bean lops one for the end zone and incomplete. Make a play. How about this? They got four to the far side of the field. Bean pumps, takes off on a draw. Now he throws, and Arnold's there for a touch. You know, unfortunately, it's a penalty on Pooney, and the big guys always get pointed out when they're doing something bad. So on second down and goal, another flag flies far side of the field. So we'll get that. Now you can understand it revved up on a big night here in Ames. All right, Bean splits out wide. They will do a lot of this. It's Casey and Neal. In the backfield for the Jayhawks. Neal, left side, edge, touchdown. Now Kansas strikes first. But the grass is that way, so it is a little bit slippery, so they might need to change those shoes for sure. First down, second possession for the Jayhawks, and there is nothing doing. They were able to orchestrate that drive. They motion out Tory Lachlan, and they swing it out to Devin Neal. Already making his presence for Kansas getting late in this first quarter. So much shifting and trading and motion pre-snap from this Kansas offense. Motion causes confusion. And Bean takes a deep shot. Downfield and incomplete, but a flag. Night, night for you. So he was just trying to hold on for dear life and, and prevent a big play. You said it earlier, Skinner, a guy with real juice. Fourth penalty against Iowa State. On the ground with high shot. And They're trying to bore the defense with all these motions and shifts so they can catch them off guard and create communication. Attention fading. Big hit on a high shot. Really, really good in this area of the field. Just like the Jayhawks were last season, among the best in the country. On third down, Bean toward the sideline for Grimm. And he up there on the sideline is a thing of beauty. 17 yards and now Highshaw always physical running. Four games, this being his fifth, he has grown a rhythm in knowing what this offense wants to do and how they want to attack the defense. PowerPoint's getting confusing here. Casey motions to the right side on second down. It's a give to Neal. And he gets met a few yards shy. We go down to Chris Button. One has talked to us, and the coaches talked to us about him learning from his mistakes. He's determined to play good today because he didn't play very well last week. He wants to go to the air on third down. He is scanning and taking off and throwing to the sideline for high shot. Something's not clicking there for them to get the wins that they need, and we're going to talk about that on Monday Night Countdown. Luke Grimm with a catch, jumping. Last week alone, they had eight different guys catch a pass. In motion, Skinner handed to Neal. More pulling, and maybe Lawrence Arnold, number two, one of their go-to receivers. Bean. Takes a shot down the middle of the field and wanted Skinner, and it's incomplete. I wasn't even born then. That's how long it's been for this Kansas Jayhawks team. Makes two of us. On first down, here's Jason Bean rolling and scanning. And Bean out of bounds. And he's been doing a whole lot more winning, Chris, these last couple of seasons. Wildcat and Devin Hill takes it to high shot, keeps it, probes forward for about four, brings it. And try to get the football to number two, Lawrence Arnold who is up here at the top of your screen. Iowa State needs to stop. Bean to the sideline with contact, and Grimm can't haul it. 
just short of a first down with his legs. Here, also Jalen Knowles stepping out of bounds, they say, on that long return. And now Daniel Hyshaw goes spinning out to the 40 with a good gain on first down for eight. And that's why they say football is a game of inches. Uh, in 3-3-5, of course, under coordinator John Haycock. They need to stop here again. Call it nine for Hyshaw on second down. Here he is again. He gets met by Caleb Bacon, and Hyshaw's got enough for a first down. Ball came out, but it appeared to be after the whistles. Anyway. Caleb Bacon, the redshirt sophomore walk-on linebacker who leads the defense in tackles for loss. On first down, Devin Neal searching for space, and he finds about three yards. Just sit there in that 3-3-5 and allow you to dictate to them. They dictate to you. Here's Bean, another shot, sideline, and incomplete, wanted Grimm. Miles Perk. Of your screen on the left. Let's see if they try to work this ball to Luke Grimm once again. Third down and seven, pressure picked up. Bean to the sideline, and he's got a completion. It's offensively, Doug Emilian with his first touch in more than a month. Oh, Oops. 21 yards. Now Bean rolls out on a throwback screen for Neal. Had a convoy of the people they had out in front of him, but you can't account for skill like TJ Tampa. Nice job being the, the defense's lifeline there. And now Bean has time. Unleashes one for Grimm and in comes offensively inside of 90 seconds until halftime. Bean, quarterback draw and he goes down. Outside shoulder on that hitch route. For whatever reason, he threw him upfield thinking that he was running the route a little bit deeper, and it turned into a bad play for Iowa State. Kansas gets it first, just 30 rushing yards. To your point, they get a lot more here. Devin Neal. They had to do a better job tackling the quarterback when he gets outside the pocket. In the Big 12, so we knew this was going to be a good on good type of game because Iowa State is third in the Big 12 when it comes to stopping the run, and so far it's been looking like bad on bad. Yeah, Devin Neal got a first step for this game. He's a guy with about 2,600 rushing yards in his career, averaging this season 6.7 a tote. Cuts it upfield. Towards a shifting on the line for Kansas, as they always do pre-snap. Graham in motion. Third down and six for Jason Bean, surveying and rifling to Arnold. Bean, 9 of 16 today for 131 yards, but he's shown some quality pocket presence so far. You talked about emotion creating confusion for this Kansas offense. Bean rolling out on corking one for Grimm, and Grimm... Bean lining up all over the formation, motion and back. They're just trying to make the defense not know what's coming next. Splits out, then he comes back into the pistol, hands it off to Devin Neal. With a... Just drawing up all these plays because he doesn't have the chaos of what's happening on the sideline. He's in his safe space up there, and defense is hating. Yeah, he's in there somewhere orchestrating. It's Wildcat here that he calls on. Good to see Daniel Hyshaw back into the game, and Hyshaw keeps on plowing forward, and now out at... A couple seconds ago, I gotta let him go. Bean comes back in to take the shotgun snap. On first down, and with time to throw, he floats it and dropped by our... Secure the catch with your eyes and the ball in your hands before you try to go make a move. More drops happen by that than anything else. Now Bean pumps it and throws to the sideline. He's got Quentin Skinner coming off schedule, off balance, off platform. He's truly showing off a lot of his arm talent tonight. Like I said, even though the numbers might not truly say that. Devin Neal up the middle on the 10. This one. On a march down the field, coming out of halftime for the Jayhawks, trying to add on to their lead. Neal up the middle and in this time for a touchdown for the Jayhawks. Power football, getting downhill on the blocks. Devin Neal probably could have walked in the end zone, but he decided to fly like Superman. Devin Neal following some pulling linemen. When Iowa State tries to come out and do something different so it doesn't catch us off guard. Second down, it's Neal, and he gets crunched by into this place. Complete one eight in the third to a 
freshman walk-up. Just protect the ball. Cole Ballard protect the football. Second down and 19. He hands it up. From midfield. Three-man rush. Bean slings it into double coverage and in. I'm Matt. And some spin cycles there. We've had some here. We got a big stage for Kansas with the ball up by three. And Jason Bean wants to throw. Deep shot. Daniel Hyshaw gets the toss and he did not only run the ball, which they weren't effective right there, but at times Jason Bean is going to have to make some big throws to put this one away. He's in the slot. Wildcat. Hyshaw upfield with a seam. Trip stop moving for it to be a legally run play. He didn't. They got hit with the flag. Now they're sitting here at a much harder third and eight. After their eighth penalty, pressure comes. Bean for Grimm. First down, Luke Grimm. But it was the job of Andy Kotelnicki to get his guys in those mixed matches. He did a great job right there. Jason Bean completes it for a first down. First down from the 38, and it's Neil wiggling through for some yard. 100 time, by the way, it was a 10-36 in high school, so that's pretty, pretty dang good. Hello. Neil up the middle. He gets stopped. Third down and three from the 45. Bean pulls it, floats it. Casey's got it for a first. See the former walk-on. Andy Kotelnicki told us he's got the best hands on the team. It's Neil.